Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I just want to give you updates. Um, as I promised, I'm going to be giving you updates on my book launch. Uh, Love is the law that is coming up soon. So I just want to give you a quick update what's really going on these days and how I'm actually progressing with this project because I'm super excited. This is a very, very personal project. And um, as I already announced, the, the launch is approaching it's coming up soon so basically where i stand these days is um finally the editing is done which i'm super grateful and super happy about but what's coming up next like i have to actually go over the final read and then after that um i will be able to uh, work on the, i'm gonna hire a book designer and after the book design is done well actually before the book design is done it needs to be formatted and there needs to be a person typesetter who's gonna fix the inside of the book so um don't ask me i don't even know what it means and after that the book design will happen next and after that finally um oh yeah and then before i need to register the uh, ISBN number and a bunch of different things related to the book. So copyright and so on. And after that, finally, the book will go on pre-sale. So this is super, super excited um, because there's so many people who are waiting for this book and trust me, I've been one of you. Um, so finally, the book will go on pre-sale and it should be done within like next three weeks. Um, now, for now, I actually do have available a free chapter or two um, and you can check it out at loveisthelaw.com if you are interested and um, I believe there is also a workshop, workbook, not workshop, workbook included. Now, I also want to share with you what I'm actually planning for this book. The book launch, there is going to be a VIP party for VIP guests and it's gonna also include uh, bonuses, like bonus workshop called Love is the Law, because the book itself, it's great, but at the same time, at the end of each chapter, there, there, there is exercise. And my goal and intention is really for people to go through the exercise and apply, because if you just read it, your life will not shift. And the goal is really, as you know, the subtitle of the book right now. Finally, we decided on a subtitle. And by the way, many of you guys actually uh, participated on that because I asked people to vote. And majority of you decided and actually picked the title, subtitle, 21 Universal Laws to um, activate your inner genius and uh, uplift humanity. And the second version was 21 Universal Laws to activate your inner genius and change the world and majority of you decided um, that you liked uplift humanity so i'm going with that subtitle thank you so much for that and so uh, as you know in order for you to uplift humanity you need to uplift yourself really it's all about going within it's all about doing the work on yourself it's all about really um fixing the mindset and going the deep and doing the deep work there is no such a thing as outside reality that is just there and you are a victim everything outside is a reflection of you and that is actually one of the laws in the book which is called the law of mirror like the outside reality is reflecting your inner world so for you if you want to change your outside reality you really first need to change your inner world and so because of that there is a lot of work deep work that you need to do obviously if that's the case in order to change the inner world because we are so many limiting beliefs and many of these limiting beliefs are actually subconscious it's not even conscious right and you would be surprised like the your mind has different levels right you have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind and the subconscious mind is that mind that is responsible for your outside reality and so if you actually want to change your reality you need to first change that subconscious mind that's that that's the fact and so there is no way for you to change outside reality if you don't change your subconscious mind. So in the book, there are, there are exercises to help that is going to help you. All these exercises will help you shift your subconscious mind and change the limiting beliefs, right? For example, if you have a limiting belief around, um, uh, around abundance, around money, right? You have probably limiting money belief. There is, there is, that's the reason why you cannot 
um, attract money into your life or the abundance into your life, right? And you would be surprised. Like I had so many limiting beliefs in the past that I had to work through and I'm still working on them because if I want to go to the next level, like I need to clear that belief, right? So that's just an example, but there are different beliefs, different areas of your life that you might want to work on if you want to change that area of your life. And in that case, you will need to go deeper and change that limiting belief that you have. So it's actually simple. You look at your life and look at the areas of your life that you don't feel satisfied, satisfied with, and then ask yourself, okay, maybe this is a problem maybe i need to work on my limiting belief in this area and then you would need to write all these limiting beliefs so this is just an example guys but the bottom line is you need to do the work if you just read my book the book is not not really going to help you right you're not going to uplift yourself and as a result you're not going to uplift the humanity so if you want to make the change you need to first work on yourself and that is the reason why i was really really going deep and I was doing a lot of internal deep work since 2013, actually, when my journey started. And there is something that I want you to do as well. And believe it or not, there's so many people that I talk to, especially in my immigration biz um, of a company. And all these people, they want to create businesses, you know, they want to move to US. And I see the pattern, like so many of them are actually blocked literally they are blocked because they don't have the right mindset they don't have the right mindset and i understand it because i can see through because i was just like them like i didn't have the right mindset especially when it comes to running a business it's a very different mindset compared to people who are just working and they have a regular job now, now the another thing is also moving to different country it requires another mindset right so these are things that you need to consider and many people just don't have the right mindset and i'm actually going to upload this video to my youtube channel immigration beat so some of you guys who are watching you probably know what i'm talking about uh, one thing is to want another thing is to really take action and be committed and doing it and sometimes even if we want to do it right we just feel blocked and stuck and here's the deal you are not blocked and stuck you are stuck because you are afraid literally there is a fear running your life so again the book is talking about how you remove this fear and how you return to love and how you actually fall in love with your life in order to create the life that you want in order to clear the blocks in order to transform those fears into love which is a different frequency it's the higher frequency where you want to be if you want to uplift your life and then uplift humanity at the same time because there is no uplift humanity without you first uplifting yourself so you need to do the work be the light you want to see be the change you want to see you need to become the light you need to uplift yourself that's the work that's the inner work so that being said there is going to be exercise at the end of each chapter and there is going to be workshop i'm going to be launching a workshop workshop love is the law for people who actually get the book and at the same time they will get this workshop now this workshop will be uh, included this is going to be additional package that will go on pre-sale when i pre-sell the book which I, like i said it's going to be in like three weeks then there is going to be a package coming up with the pre-sale of the book, which is going to be the workshop, the Love is the Law workshop. So you will have opportunity to actually get that workshop as well with the book, because many of you might want to, you might need that workshop. Actually, everyone needs that workshop, unless you are uh, disciplined and unless you can really apply these exercises into your life yourself which I highly, highly recommend. But there are some people who need guidance and for those people, the workshop will be perfect because you can literally work with me and then we're gonna shift those limiting beliefs. Um, the another thing I'm gonna be adding is actually, um, like I said, there's gonna be the VIP party, there's gonna be the workshop and there's on top of that is also, there's gonna be a VIP exclusive, a mastermind, closed mastermind. And I'm thinking the limit for this one is gonna be just 10 people. And the reason is we're gonna to get together, it's gonna to be beautiful brunch, we're gonna to have together and we're gonna actually mastermind how it's gonna be close 
group of people, high vibe people who are already living certain lifestyle and they are vibrating on that frequency of abundance and this small group of people will be interacting with each other so we can even co-create bigger and better things together. It's going to be only limited to 10 people because I cannot accommodate more people. So you will be notified and I will disclose more information about this one, but I'm super, super excited. So these people who get this program, I mean the mini mastermind, they will also get the access to the book, sign cover, sign cover, sign book, um, and uh, the, the workshop as well as the VIP party. So that's what I got for you guys. It's a lot. It's a lot of work. Um, I've been studying a lot about how to publish a book and putting a plan together. The plan is finally completed. Uh, now I'm hiring people, creating my team. And um, to be perfectly honest, it's a lot of work. You know what I mean? Like if you just want to publish a book that you're just going to put on Amazon, it's cool. <laughs> that can be done. But if you really want to make it happen uh, in a slightly different way, you, um, you have basically three options. Number one, you find publisher and in order to find publisher, you need to get an agent. In order to get the agent, you need to keep looking and sign the agent, which typically takes like, it might take like 12 months, even 18 months. And then the publisher, the deal, the book deal uh, is done, you sign a contract and there are certain advantages, disadvantages that I'm not going to go deeper into, um, but that's reality, which takes forever and it might be difficult for some, especially if you don't have any platform. The number two option is that you self-publish and then if you are self-publishing, typically people are self-publishing through Amazon, which again, like, like I said, there are so many books on Amazon and this book, it's like a graveyard of books, Amazon, the way I see it. And there are so many misleading information about how to publish on Amazon. Because if you say you are best-selling author and your book was published on Amazon, the bestseller, that means nothing in publishing industry. That literally means nothing. And so if you don't want to do it this way, then you have to go either through hybrid publishing and here is the catch. There are so many people I found, so many, so, so, so many people who are literally ripping people off through this hybrid slash self-publishing industry. They're promising results, they're not delivering, they are um, basically not giving you anything, they just give you guidance, if any, and they're ripping people off. And these uh, sort of uh, hybrid publishers sometimes even um, sell themselves under big names like Hay House, like Bi Balboa Press, which if you actually dig deeper and read more about it, it's actually pretty much like repeat office scam. So um, yeah, so navigating all this mess, navigating through all this mess, I sort of created like a, the way that I'm gonna do it and I'm not gonna talk about the details now because I wanna see how it goes, how it turns out, but I'm sharing this so you guys can understand like where I'm coming from because it is a journey. That's for sure, it is a journey and sometimes it feels super challenging, but yet I'm on it, I'm super excited, this thing is happening and I cannot wait for you guys to read the book. So that's all I got for today and if you're interested, you can check out free chapter loveisthelaw.com. Stay tuned for more updates, talk to you soon.